Hey there and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian and in today's video we're going to be talking about board 103. This is the first time this board has been on the bench and out of the miner. This comes from my first miner that I bought, my reference miner. Uh, the whole point of buying this miner was to have a working miner. Well, now after uh, many months of it running and doing really, really well, I'm starting to see some issues with the boards. That happens when you buy a used miner. So today's problem with board 103, no temperature sensors read. That's what it says in the miner. But when I put it on the tester, as you can see right up there, sure enough, it says all four temperature sensors are working great. Now, I did watch it for a little bit before I started this video, and what I noticed on the tester, domain 11, temp sense 3 and 4, would fall out. Sometimes it would be chip 55, it would say no temp, and then sometimes it'd be 51. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, let me flip this over. I will end up taking this off and doing some measurements on those, on those chips in that domain and see what's going on. Let's get to it. Right. first things first let's go ahead and take off just this this block right here because this is a split block got the pink stuff now this is the NBTC pink stuff let's see can you see that here we go here we go this is the ND NBTC pink stuff, and I haven't figured out how to get this stuff into America. So I don't know if this board was sent overseas and upgraded there or, or what. But we're going to use the Thanos pink stuff. That works really, really well. What I do like about this is this stuff's pretty easy to clean up uh, with a paper towel. So let me get that cleaned up real quick, and then we'll start doing measurements. Right, let's get this under the microscope and see what we see. Looking under the camera here, what I see, first of all, look at this. This is crazy. So they just, they kind of knocked off the, it looks like they did a sandpaper job on these chips. So this definitely could have been done over in a Chinese shop. All right, well. Let's clean up the chip real quick then. So that's an AG chip. That's that's chip 51. And if I go over to here, you see that's an AI chip. That's 55. Well, if I go to 54, it's also an AI chip, which I did a lousy job of cleaning up. If I come over here, this is 57, and if I move over over one there, it's it, it's 56. So at the very least, uh, 54, 55, 56, 57 are all uh, AI chips. I think this whole board may be AI chips. I'm gonna guess that chip 51 here was replaced. I'll do some measurements. Let's get over there. Turn the voltage down a little bit so it doesn't run the quite so hot and let's just probe around on voltage okay 65 chips that was that's not a surprise let's just double check our LDO at yeah, 1.77.8 okay what I'm most interested in now is that RO uh, 1.74 seems pretty steady let's check it on through Pretty steady. Okay, 
Okay. I remember when I jumped the domain, I'm technically on the domain over, so I need to get a new ground reference. There we go. And values look good. So this is going to be a fun one to troubleshoot because it is intermittent. Take the vultures down. All right, let's see if we can get 65 chips down here. Of course we can. All right, let's get temp. See if we can get temp to drop out now. Woo wee! Look at that chip 54 or that that temp sense four. That is way hotter than everything else. That is that guy right there. And I I won't lie, it's warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that chip out. It was getting to 80 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little big old X on it. See if that's it. Swap that out. Went ahead and cleaned up all the chips while I had this section off. So 55 has been replaced and all the other chips have been pretty cleaned off. They are way better than they were. So let's find out, do I still have 65 chips? Okay, cool, I have 65 chips. Uh, now I am running at 18.8 volts, so that is really, really low. It's way lower than I run the miner normally. Let's stop that. Okay, and let's go ahead and run our temp sense test and see what that comes oh good 65 chips that's a good sign all right everything's sitting there running pretty even 39 to 41 is the range uh, i'm just gonna let it sit here i want to see what happens to that number four sensor as as far as team miner this is what team miner says is number four in the miner software it's actually 50, it's 10 cents three you can check out my backwards video if you want to know more about that. What I want to see right now, I want to see where what happens with what Team Miner calls two and four, right? How do they do? All right, so I've let this run for a few minutes. What it looks like now is between temps one and four on the Team Miner, we're running about a seven degree difference. It's just not heating up. Um, okay, <laughs> I say that and boom, now we're looking at 44 and 52, so an 8 degree difference. The point being is that that, that, that chip 55 is really not getting hot. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put the pink stuff on and get it back in the miner and let's just see what happens. Okay, looky there, we've got 65 chips detected on all three chains, and uh, it has it has said start mining, we're setting it to 600 megahertz, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and see how we do. All right, what I immediately see that may be an issue is look at temp sense number three, it's 86 degrees already. So I may have misdiagnosed this, it may have actually been chip 51 that needs to be replaced and not chip uh, 55. If so, I'll go yank that real quick and swap it out. But let's see if we can get this thing to hash. All right, this is a really good sign. It looks like uh, we are holding the temperatures and we're dropping voltage. So this means that we should be out of the woods for that. I'm gonna just let it settle on down and we'll see where it lands when it gets down to the, I think 18.4 is where this miner is tuned up at. All right, so it looks like we landed at 18.4 volts, and uh, 
looks like the temperature on the car is running on the high side 73 and 76 so there we go that's it that ch replacing that one chip solved the temperature problem now could we is there something else possibly wrong maybe um i think i will pull the card back out and check it to see if there's any obstruction so good news bad news Ant Miner 01 is back in action. It's got all three cards running, and I mean, it is purring. You know, we're running 75 giga hash. This is fantastic. Miner is really rocking and rolling. Bad news, I've reached the maximum power of my farm. So to go any more with any more cards and any more miners, I'm going to need to put more power in. I'm straight out of power at this point. So I'm still going to work on cards but they won't be actually expanding my hash power for now. Uh, they'll be sitting on the shelf ready to go in case a card goes down. I, I think we'll be doing some power upgrade videos uh, here in the very near future. Thanks so much for watching. If you, if you like something, if you saw something, uh, be sure to comment about it down below. Give me a like if you thought the video was good. And hey, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.